And tonight at 5, an Arkansas police officer caught in the middle of gunfire. A teenager is charged with attempted capital murder. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Police say the 16-year-old fired a stolen gun while trying to get away from police in Mariana, Arkansas. That officer tells WREG's Michael Quander he is lucky to be alive in an interview you see only on News Channel 3. Happened in seconds. It was fast. Afraid of something like this would happen. And downright scary for Mariana Corporal Roy Williams. About 2 30 a.m. Monday on the graveyard shift, he was patrolling near MLK in Montgomery when he saw someone walk up. He had his hands in his pocket. He reached his hand out. A gun fell on the ground. I saw the gun. I had to cut on my lights. And the suspect ran away. But he has to jump over this fence right here. It was dark. Police chased the 16-year-old, body cameras rolling. Shot three rounds right here. We have found cases right here. But Corporal Williams didn't shoot back. Me not shooting, that was a two-second decision that saved at least four people's lives. He feared for the neighbors sleeping in their beds that they might have gotten caught in the crossfire. Meanwhile, the teen disappeared. The suspect had a great advantage to ambush me at the time. But this little guy, uh, this, this is my son right here, so. came to the rescue, tracking the teen's ascent to this tire shop. Police say he was hiding. He has to went straight in for the suspect. The teen was arrested with only minor injuries. Cops said he was toting around all these drugs and this gun they say he's stole from his mother. I'm just glad that um, you know, no life was taken at the time. Um, myself, my partner, K-9, nor the suspect. He's a young officer and uh, he really used his head well. Because this dangerous situation could have had a different outcome. Reporting in Lee County, Michael Quandor, WREG News Channel 3. It certainly could have had a different outcome. Well, police say they are reviewing this incident to make sure all policies and procedures were followed. The teen's name isn't being released because he's 16.